All right, and we are live. This is the what is this? The third live stream we've done for Resident Evil Village. Uh, we're back in Moreau's section, so let's go ahead and give our resident fish boy some uh, some fun times. We'll give him a run for his money. Um, where are we exactly? Uh, we can go down here. I don't remember what I, my ammo situation is. Pistol, nothing. Shotgun, nothing. We got rifle ammo, that's it. That's okay. Rifle's my best friend anyway. Thing. Nope. I am very compulsive about constantly checking the map to make sure there's like no, no stone unturned in terms of like trying to like grab ammo and whatnot. It's crazy how much resistance the uh, left trigger gives you when you're playing with a dual sense. You actually, I gotta really pull on it in order to get the sniper aimed. See, my row is somewhere on it. Locked from the other side. is also locked. I keep hitting circle and interact with stuff because I've been playing freaking uh, near for so long. Go down in this little mossy area. This game just looks so freaking good. I'm in love. Squeeze on through. Hey, look! It's another part of our Sweet baby chopped up and put in a jar. I don't know if you'd technically consider it a jar, I'd call it a glass container of some sort. Ethan, just run! Why are you standing there? Letting him turn around and see you. Just go. I'll just be taking this. Jesus, then you're not smart, dude. What are you doing? Oh, you have something to say? What do you mean, mother's special child? Mother wants her baby back. Don't screw with me. Wait, wait, her wait, baby wait, back wait. ribs. <laughs> the, the others laugh at me, but if I, I do better than them, what do I'll, I care? Wait, just a little longer, please. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> You're stupid. You talk too much. <laughs> it's all I over. I plugged away in. Look, what are you? This is my territory. I won't let you leave. Shit. I will say, out of like any of the lords. I definitely feel the most sorry for Moreau. He's kind of like the most pathetic out of them. He's got some uh, self-confidence issues. He's a bit lower on the totem pole than everyone else. So, I feel bad for him. Alright, so that's knocked down. I believe we have to go over there. Um, How do I get out of here? Supposed to get a thing, a key of some sort. Man, but we got... You know what? No. We're better off going here first, because we can find uh, some amount of supplies, if I remember correctly. This is, only, this is only my second time playing through. Alright. Someone gonna pop up? No, that's just garbage. <laughs> There's a boat, but I need a key for the boat. Um, and we just have to remember to go back for that because we can't grab it right now. Um, let's see what's in the house. Oh. Leave the boat key in the shack in the mine. Hans is dead, so no more fishing for a while. I mean, we all know his death was no accident. He was eaten by a giant fish, boat and all. 
Huh, very reminiscent of uh, Resident Evil 4, some might say. Very, very reminiscent. It's almost as if this is the natural evolution of that, uh, of that little set piece boss fight in 4. Let's go back in. I feel like I need to turn my brightness up just a tiny bit. Uh, I'd probably be able to see a little bit better if I didn't have my lights going on, but it is what it is. Brightness, just up one. Let's see if that helps. Tiny bit. Might have to adjust as we go. Eat. All right, definitely hear people. I don't see people. Oh, and there we go. Hell yeah. Come on. Man, the sniper rifle is so freaking overpowered. Just headshot city left and right. Hell yeah. I mean, a shotgun can do it too, but it's not as, uh... Hmm, I don't know. Shotgun can get head... Every weapon can get headshots, so but this one is, like, pretty much guaranteed on a regular enemy to, uh, be an insta-kill. Alright, so we gotta... What do I have? Um, I have... Oh, I forgot. I have a grenade launcher now. Holy shit. Um... Here, let's move you. I do have a lot of grenade launcher ammo. I don't want to use it, though. Let's see if we can just take off your helmet. Shit. Come on, Ethan! And... Come on, get up. And is that enough? I feel like I've been shooting you for a while, dude. There we go. And hell yeah. Headshot city. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. At least we're funneling up. One. Two. <laughs> Nice. All out of ammo now, though. That's not ideal. Not great overall. Apparently still a bunch of items to grab, though. Perfect crystal skull. Oh, shit. I can't even... Nope. We can't grab it. Never mind. Okay, so that's good. Still stuff to grab. Let's double check our tracks. Mm, does not appear so. Maybe stuff in the water, stuff on the ceiling, any glowies of some sort. It can like seriously be like one tiny little thing I'm missing. And yeah, we're just gonna forget about it. Oh, is that it? Nope. Not it, but I'll take it. Alright, so we gotta go back to the boat. Let's see, and now are there gonna be freaking werewolves over here? I remember them popping up at some point. <laughs> oh, shit. Is it behind me? Nope, just in front. Okay. Cool. I can work with that. Come on, buddy. Come on down. Okay, easier shot at you. Oh, shit. Okay, fuck me. Um... Push back, Ethan! There 
There we go. Last bullet. Holy shit. Nice. I need ammo really, really bad. That's okay. It's also nice that, um, it's not as apparent as it was, like, on the, um, on the DualShock 4 controller, but there's lights on the, like, perimeter outline, whatever, of the DualSense that can, uh, correspond to what's happening in-game. So, I'm low on health, so I got a little bit of an orange light going on on my thing right now. Nice and slimy. We got a gate. Oh. What was that? That, Ethan, is a big fish. That is what some might refer to as a real big fish. Expert parking. That's, that's definitely how boat physics work. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. Anything to collect over here? I actually didn't go over here my first playthrough. I uh, accidentally went into the little thingy and that started the next part. Oh! There's a fishy. I didn't know this was here. That is a big fish. It's worth two fish. That's how big of a fish it was. Let's see, is there anyone else hiding around here? Are there bubbles? Because the bubbles will show where there are fish. There you are, sneaky asshole. Stabbing a fish. This is exactly how fishing works, by the way. <laughs> Indisputed facts right here. Um, I think that's, yep, that's all the fish. Apparently still stuff to grab around here, though. Something in the ceiling, maybe? Not a clue. Oh, well. Research post or something? What Quite astute, Ethan. <laughs> That's actually a good move there, Ethan. Stay the fuck down! Ethan! I gotta say, I'm surprised you made it this far. It'd be a shame if something happened to you now. Sir Chris, why not? You killed that me. That sounds so fucking you ominous, Chris. Why you gotta job. say it like that? Hey, Cap. Gotta work on your tone, dude. Work on your delivery. We should move on. What kind of readings? What's moving? Unknown. But my guess is we've been here too long, and Miranda knows it. Hey, hey, do you say Miranda? How are you involved? Leave it alone, Ethan. You are out of your depth. What about the sample analysis? It's definitely related to the mold. Hit the fishy. The big fishy. <laughs> Stay out of our business, Ethan. What this guy will do! See, Chris cares about us. He's just not good at talking about easily logical things and vocal delivery and tone. <laughs> There's Moreau. Stay back. That is a beautiful boy right there. The exit's underwater. You're done. I don't have time for this. Miranda sent you to slow me down. He actually got a tattoo of a fish on him. Or a jellyfish. What are you talking about? 
<laughs> oh, that is... Uh, that is prom king material right there. <laughs> Moreau might be like the most Resident Evil ass Resident Evil boss this entire game. Oh shit. Go, Ethan, go. Run, dude. Holy shit. What am I supposed to do? Burrow's clinic. He used to be uh, a doctor of some sort. Apparently, allegedly. I believe this is the way we're supposed to go. Alright, so exit's underwater. There's a bunch of uh, sluice gates or whatnot, so... Let's try to drain the water. See if that gets us anywhere. Oh shit. Yep. If I can drain the water. You know, you can use more than one hand for that, Ethan. You don't gotta do it, like, one-handed. In instance of heavy rain, there may be damage to the local aquatic life. It is advised that you drain all excess water using the following steps. Move the windmills with a crank to start the electricity to the gatehouse. Pull the lever in the gatehouse to open the sluice gate. Go. Oh, look! Our boy, the Duke. Just chilling in here. How he got here? I don't know. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. Shall I choose something for you? Let's do some cooking, dude. We got some fish. Should be good to go. Carry on. I can hardly wait. Just excuse me a moment. Finished. There we go. I'd love for you to enjoy as well. I have no idea what a mitzitze, my, my, my titties, is that what it is? Three flavored my titties. But apparently it's good enough to increase our health. <laughs> I wouldn't mind having that again. Uh, what else can I afford? Not that. Uh, ch nope. We can get this. Damage taken when guarding greatly decreases permanently. Fuck yeah. Let's do that. Thank you. Now to cook. Finished. I'd there love we go. for you to enjoy as well. <laughs> I wouldn't mind having that again. All right, so let's sell some stuff we don't need. Um, we're not going to get the stuff to plug into this next until like way later on, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's see. So just sell that. Bits and bobs. I see. Supplies. What do you have for me? Recoil. Mine. Why would we pay for a mine for three thousand? That's that's too much. I think we're good. You know what? We should learn how to make explosives. An interesting selection. And possibly even <laughs> buy some freaking ammo, cause. We need it bad. An investment, even. Yeah, we need we need ammo like super, super, super fucking bad. Yes, I can see why you'd be interested in that. All right. Thank you for your patronage. Anytime, Duke. I I I love buying stuff for me. You're a good guy. You're my bro. Outhouse. Nothing. I can hear the freaking Duke just chilling back there, I guess. Um, dude. Alright, checking messages real quick. Okay. 
Okay, so we got shotgun ammo, and we got freaking uh, sniper ammo, so we should be good. The crank is old and busted up. It feels like it's going to snap any second. I hope it doesn't break. The only other one we have is over at Windmill 2. Two windmills. I oh, chickens! Die, right, chicken. I need to eat you. When I eat you, I gotta kill you. Necessary sacrifice. There's no Thanos stuff going on. We're only gonna murder one. Or, oh, no, I'm sorry, there's three. No murdering of only half, I should say. We need all the chickens we can get. Rest and scrap. Crystal fragment. And good ammo. That's good. Explosive rounds. Uh, let's try to get this crank. I wonder if this is going to break like that note suggested that it might. Yep. <laughs> Uh, Seriously? Yeah. Sorry, Ethan. Don't gotta be so cranky about it. <laughs> Can't slide down, Ethan. I know you're missing like two fingers, but come on, man. It is like video game 101. Gotta gotta slide down. All right, where is our boy Moreau? Chilling somewhere. So for whatever reason, we run super slow as soon as our feet are in a tiny little bit of water. I guess that's realistic, but you know. Where is fish boy? <laughs> <laughs> That's where Fish Boy is. Oh shit. Oh Jesus, dude. Go away. Go, 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 Ethan. Eat. Alright. Where is he? You gonna. Come through. I'm really surprised to know that um, both Corey and Sarah died in this section. I thought it was relatively straightforward. Eat. There we go. Damn. Why can't you just jump over there, Ethan? It's not that hard. I made a freaking leap of faith earlier. Oh, that's nasty. Ugh, it stinks. That your concern is that it stinks and not the maggots growed out of there, dude. Holy shit. All right. Go, go, go. Come on, go, Ethan. Magnum ammo, but we don't have a magnum yet. I wonder if this possibly hints towards the fact that we might be getting a magnum soon. Come on, get all these going. Run! Sprint, 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 sprint. Don't fuck up on me, please. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, come on. Oh shit, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> I forgot he says that, he's just like, I'm the best. Oh shit, nope, back, back, back. <laughs> uh, Moreau's a very sad individual. I'm sorry, dude. I love your set piece area right here, but you are a sad individual. All 
Alright, now we can, um... Push that in. Eat! Oh, fucking damn! <laughs> Pops up everywhere. Holy shit. And get ammo. I like feeling the tension on this when you swing uh, with your knife. And this one isn't covered in shit for whatever reason. All right, no time to ch no time to chill in the boat, Ethan. We got it. We got to go, dude. Come on. Stab it! Stab it! Come on, Ethan! There we go. Oh, it's still standing. Uh, let's see. Circle around. There we go. He is definitely persistent. I will absolutely give Moreau that. Maybe out of all of them, the most persistent. He would just chill for a second while I try to do this, though. Can I use it? Examine. You can't climb up like this. I can if I... Okay, now it lets me use it. Okay. No idea how this works, but evidently it does. Oh, see, it's nice and painted yellow. They, someone here in this village played Uncharted too. Oh shit. Eat. <laughs> Oh, I love that. That is so good. That is not the right item. Uh, crank. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right, so now we have power. So let's go back to the little uh, sluice gate control. I don't think I have any more money for you or anything, though, Duke. Well, then, feel free to peruse. I have more... I had access to chicken, I guess. Can we do anything with that chicken? Nope. Finished? Are you sure you have No, because I forgot to go to the purchase Welcome. stuff. Gunsmithy. That's a lot of money for reload speed. Um, fuck it, we're probably gonna need it. Aha. I'd as well. Pay me no mind. I will. Good day then. <laughs> All right, the solution to that is this, the black panel, we can't turn. Uh, the solution to this puzzle is that that paper isn't facing the right way. So you gotta like look at it kind of like sideways. So that's red, blue, red, blue, red, white, uh, blue, white. There we go. We did it. <laughs> And bye-bye, water. Sorry, Moreau. There goes your swimming pool. Got it. He is pissed. That is one 
big fishy. God, I fucking... I love Moreau. He's a good fish boy. The best fish boy, some might say. Uh, let's go ahead and preemptively reload all our stuff. Because we are going to need it. And let's go and just put this shortcutted open. October 1st, a sunny day. Mother Miranda brought me five peoples from the village, just like I asked it did. I made them sleep with some liquid and then put caddo, caddo in their tummies. I'm looking forward to the caddo to grow in their tummies. October 2nd, a cloudy day. Four of the people from the village are dead this morning. One is almost a lichen. I sent it to my lab on the mountain. I failed again. Mother wants strong vessels, but I cannot get any. I will need more people from the village. Ooh, high capacity mag for the pistol. We will use that as soon as we run out of ammo. But for now, we need to Get ready for fishy boy. Sniper, chem fluid. Fuck, he's gonna be right around. Yep. God damn it. Shotgun to the face, boy. Oh shit! Run, Ethan. Ethan, no. Okay. Um. Do I have anything to heal with? Nope, not at the moment. I think I can survive another hit. Oh shit, okay. Definitely need to heal now. Um, shit. I need to gather frickin' resources. Shit! Damn, dude. Charging fucking diagonally at me. I didn't know he could do that. Shit, my fucking bad. I don't remember him being this vicious. Come on, get that. Shit. Cause you fucking suck, dude. That's why I hate you. Shit. I'm gonna spit up in the air. That's not good. Shit, we need to take out, um... Take out all these walls he just made, too. Get that open. Okay, um... Shit, I don't have time for this. Come on, buddy. Come on through. Oh, fuck. He's not gonna let that go. Come on. Shit. Nope, wrong gun, wrong gun. Dude, come on! Why is it selecting the wrong gun? Come on, let's go! Oh, fucking bad controller's dying. Let's uh, swap that out before that becomes an issue. Turn off and swap. There we go. Let's do this. Oh, God damn it.
Oh shit, where is he? Come here, buddy. Shit. Gotta just take those hits. Come on, turn around. There we go. Oh shit. Damn it. I can take like one more hit. Shit. Okay. That's not good. I think. Rocket launcher! On, Moreau. Let's dance, buddy. Okay, shit. Now I need to heal. Come on. Let's just get this over with. Isn't there supposed to be like a bomb thing over here? Come on. There we go. Beautiful. The best way possible. In death as he was in life. Disgusting. Maybe a little bit unnecessary, Ethan, but message point taken, I guess. The exit's up ahead. Hey, right, let's uh put the knife back on down here. Got an herb. Surprisingly, I had a little bit of an easier time with that than even when I was playing um, the first time on PC. I died like twice. One by the acid rain, once, um, you know, just regular fighting and whatnot. Mother Miranda gave me a rose jar. No one likes me, which is why I thought they would leave me out again. But Heisenberg said that that was why we each get a rose. The ceremony cannot happen without us all there. Mother didn't seem to care, though. Mother said Rose is a vessel. With a vessel, vessel, Mother can get her real child back, even though she has been dead for a very long time. But if Mother does then, what will happen to me? I'm not her real child. Will, would she abandon me? No, I don't want that. No, 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 no. <laughs> Dude was just chilling here, eating pie and watching TV. Stumbled in this dude's freaking bachelor pad. There we go. Now we got the six wing key. You're better off than I thought. Who's that? Oh, come on. We just met a while back. Not that it really matters. You're the last asshole in my way, aren't you? You've got fight. I'll give you that, Ethan. But what's the plan when you have all four flasks? What are you trying to get at? I could lend you a hand. Uh, trying to get on my good side? Oh, don't get cocky. I'd kill you if you weren't worth the trouble. There's a stronghold not too far outside the village. Go there and get my flask. Do that, and you pass. 
First, head back to the graveyard. Self-centered prick. I was trying to remember this the other day. I believe you get the flask like way before you even fight him. It's just like its own separate little thing. That is a Cadu. Cadel. Big ol' is that baby looking alive? thingy. <laughs> all these things are all inside like all the monsters and shit. It's kinda gross. I believe um from the files they say it's like inserted like at the base of uh someone's spine too. That's that's nasty. You unlocked it. Cool. Okay, now I remember. There's definitely a floating thingy. Not floating. There's like a gem in the freaking walls or something. That's okay. Um, A rose hidden weapon. I forget. How the hell do you get a rose hidden weapon? Okay, let's just go. You know what? No, let's let's Google this because I'm pretty sure I got this last time, but it also made me super paranoid the last time too. Moreau's hidden weapon. How to get Moreau's hidden weapon? Uh, let's see. Oh, it's the Wolf Spain. That's the uh, Magnum. Okay. Go out of the way, add. Once you take a lift back up to the first meal. Okay, that's the mechanical great thingy. Don't have to worry about that right now. Okay. So we just need to get back to... Well, I guess just the entrance. We don't really have to do much else. Um, but there is a thing we can get. Um, if we remember the... Um... Oh, hey, Kenny. It's a that you can access once you get back to the surface. Yeah, now that we have the crank, we can use it like on the mechanical doors and whatnot. Or slots, or whatever you would like to refer to them as. Flashbangs. Oh, I hear a goat. The right. Where? Oh, there it is. There we go. There we go. Landed all the way down here for whatever reason. But that is some good loot that we can sell. Alright, so now we just gotta head back. So we got pistol ammo. Sniper. I was like super crazy about hoarding even the grenade launcher ammo my first playthrough. I'm gonna see if I can maybe avoid being so uh, prudish with that. Definitely make uh, my playthrough a little bit easier. Um, that's not where I need to go. Ooh. Through here? Or no, because that's what I just took, right? Am I going the wrong way? No, I'm pretty sure I'm going the right way now. Still weird to me that Crouch is on the right stick. It's not often that games do that kind of thing nowadays. I think the first game that I played that had that by a default or whatnot was uh, Fear 2 on, on console. Very weird to me at the time. Because it was at that point in time where, you know, like, melee was still, like, almost kind of universally being placed on uh, B or Circle or whatnot. Because, you know, that's what Halo did, and all the companies got to be like Halo. Um, so, yeah, there was that. Honestly, I think the Call of Duty control scheme is basically universally the, the best layout for these kinds of games. But, um... They get some utility out of not having crouch on circle, you know, with the uh, back turn and whatnots. What the heck is that? Labyrinth puzzle. Oh, did I get the ball for that? Not yet. Maybe it's over here. 
Oh, got one bird. Somewhere up there. Shotgun ammo. Oh, fuck. Oh, there is a mermaid ball. He wants these things circle around. Magnum ammo. Oh, shit. That is a dude right there. I can barely see him. Oh. Come on, reload, Ethan. Sniper rifle ammo. Kind of good ammo. That is a. Oh, shit. Um, better plan. Back up. Funnel them. Okay, I gotta turn the brightness up still. This is uh, a bit redonkulous. There we go. You guys all good? Nope. Still alive. Gonna get up. Oh, cool. Your house right here. Oh, you know what? This is a good opportunity to actually use that upgrade. Quit parts. There we go. Oh shit, two of them. Two and just unload. There we go. Thank you for the uh, for the hint earlier, by the way. Or I guess like not even a hint, just like explicitly telling me where it's going. I definitely needed that reminder. Someone's. Crawling around. Something right here. Yes. It's a That's the bird I shot earlier, actually. Oh. Inside the house? I believe so. Hey, buddy. There we go. See, Mother Miranda gave me a mountain. Now I can do lots and lots of Caddo experiments. This is my secret special laboratory. I did three Caddo experiments today, but they all went pop and made a mess. I put in the caddo and then I tried putting wolf blood from a needle into the spine. The person wriggled a lot and then killed my assistant. I cannot hold it down so I put it in a cage. Now I have to feed it. Okay. Wolf Spain. Definitely want to upgrade the firepower on that because we're going to need every single shot to count. So let's not use that right now. Oh shit. That is another beast. Oh shit! Oh god, nope, nope, nope. I, I got too greedy with my hits. Go, go, go! <laughs> oh shit. Alright, we're gonna abuse that door though. Let's do two shots and then dip. I am not fighting these things fair. I refuse to do that. They are entirely way too vicious.
It just resets too. It is so easy to cheese these things. Where'd it go? Where the fuck? Wait, what? It's definitely over there. Oh, fuck. It's right in front of me. There we go. Last shot. The good old cheesing method works like a charm. <laughs> yeah, it's, um... They make it so easy to do this, and it's, like, really obvious. You don't really have to, like, dig for a way to be able to do it. Um, it's a trap. I know, um, there, there's something like this in the Evil Within 1, where if you try hiding in a little room where you think the boss can't get you... It's not a cutscene, but it'll, like, shove its arm in there and grab you and, like, destroy that room and then fling you back, like, into the main, uh, boss arena. It's actually, it's actually, like, a really good subverting of expectations. Uh, let's see. There's the ball. Da -da -da -da. Mermaid ball. There we go. Am I going to kill the pack leader now? You know what? I totally forgot about that. Um... Yes, let's might as well go do that. Um, hopefully I have enough ammo for it. I think I should, especially now that I have the Magnum at least. Go. I want to. I want to. Shit. I want to know what the uh, meeting was like when they were making this game. Just like, what kind of puzzles can we add in? It's just like to add some nice little flavor here and there. I, I want to. I want to know the dude that, that came up and said, let's add these little ball puzzles. And let's do like four or five of them. Okay, we got it. Shit. Nope, nope, nope. Got to put it on the back burner. No. Can't even see what I'm doing. To go in the right way, down here, to the right, and down. I need to figure out a way to cheese some arenas and evil within for when you do max difficulty. Honestly, one of the biggest cheese things you can do in that game is um, the first thing you should upgrade in there is your uh, is your critical chance uh, for your pistol. Uh, Cause you start off with a zero percent chance, so like the chance they'll just like randomly get a lucky headshot and their head will just instantly explode. You start the game off with that at at zero percent, like that will never happen. Um. So so that's the first thing you need to do. So if you just like continue to upgrade that, like your percentage will just continue to increase over time. Um, you can just kill like entire freaking waves of enemies with just like one bullet on each one it, it's pretty freaking satisfying to pull off this way very subtle and how did you arrange that so quick granted i guess he's freaking magneto so there is that Let's see there is that mechanical switch over here i believe I, I'm really in the mood to play some more uh, Evil Within, though. Wait, shit, no, that's not the way. I didn't go far enough. I think you have your pistol fully upgraded, but it's been all, like a year since you played, so I'll have to play on casual run first anyway. I mean, honestly, e Evil Within 1, even on normal, it's pretty freaking intense. I, 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 would, I would honestly maybe tell people by default play on easy for the better all-around experience. Even Evil with, I think Evil Within 2 is hard difficulty. Uh, they, they explicitly state, like when you're selecting the difficulty options, they say, like, Evil Within 2 is basically Evil Within 1 on normal. And I don't think that's necessarily to its benefit. Alright, chicken. Poultry. There we go. I semi apologize for killing all these chickens. It is necessary. Is there actually anything up here? 
Oh, wait, you know what? No, I believe... Right over here. There we go, there's a little box. The Pigeon Blood Ruby. Which we can combine... That. There we go. Now we can sell that. I just sworn it was two pieces for it, though. Oh, no, yeah, we, we still have to combine it with one other thing. Okay. Um, everything else in this section is cleared out. Um, there's the door we have to go through here in order to get to Heisenberg. But any other things we missed? Oh, I believe we are okay. Um, we need to come back here to get the boats. See, Evil Within 2 was such a well-worthy sequel. I really hope they do at least one more. I am... Man, Evil Within 2 is like such a freaking A-plus freaking game that it, it didn't sell well at all, and that makes me really sad. Um, I'm going the wrong way. I need to go this way. Um... Yeah, Evil Within 2 is like such a freaking solid game that didn't sell well, so I, c I can see why Bethesda wouldn't fund another one, even though, like, the game's quality is actually fucking fantastic. Uh, I'm really hopeful with uh, Microsoft buying out Bethesda and their strategy of just being, um, hey, we should funnel resources into these games to draw people towards our service. I think this is the best thing that could possibly happen to, like, both, um, not Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein actually sells well. Uh, the Evil Within and stuff like Dishonor, like those have a have a second chance at getting sequels because of the Microsoft acquisition. Do I have anything? Nope. I've procured some new items for you, Mr. Winter. Let's sell all this stuff. No. Oh. Got a lot of stuff. Hell yeah. I suppose it's what they call the beauty of the grotesque. Increase firepower on all of these. Leave this to me. Am I low on ammo for any of these is the question. Have a wonderful adventure. Not necessarily. So we're okay. All right, we need to go over to the boat right here, but I got to use the bathroom real quick. I will be back in like 30. All right, and we are back. Um, did The Last Dishonored not do well? You were you under the impression that those were big sellers. Uh, from my understanding of it, for what those titles were, they sold good, but they weren't gangbusters. Um, and typically in the games industry, if they're not making like an incredible... Um, what's, what's the word I'm trying to say? If you don't have like an incredible ratio in terms of um, what you earn compared to what it cost, you're not necessarily going to get funded for that same kind of thing multiple times. But I, w I would love more Dishonored games. I, I really want another Evil Within. It was a little bit weird at launch, too. The, um, 
the PC version had a lot of issues. And I know um, Immersive Sims, just that kind of little moniker for the little subgenre or whatever, um, definitely lives at home on PC. So that definitely hurt it a bit too. It's kind of weird. Dishonored 2 had a lot of performance issues at launch. Um, for the longest time, I couldn't even play it on console without getting uh, some minor headaches with the motion blur with a little bit of choppy frame rate. It was one of the best designed games of all time in terms of like gameplay and level design and whatnot, but a little bit of a technical mess, but is mostly been ironed out. Um, it was like 40% lower than the original. I believe... Um, I don't know if I want to dedicate to the statistic just because I don't know off the top of my head. But yes, it, it did sell substantially. Take what, what I say with a grain of salt. It did sell lower than the first game. I know that for sure. Or it didn't have like that big hike up that you would expect that a sequel would have. Yep, finest fish. We're not settling for fine fish. Only the finest. Um, is that all of them? Why are people putting yellow cables in all these fishing holes? <laughs> so you only played the first Dishonored 2 has been in your backlog since launch, but honestly don't see yourself playing anytime soon. I think if you have access to Game Pass, um, that's a great opportunity to play it. It has some of the best design levels, like, in games, period. Um, yeah, you can't go wrong with Dishonored 2. I think the learning curve for its levels are definitely harsher than the first one. But, um, I feel like maybe once you even get, like, one playthrough of all the levels, like, once you go and revisit it, you get a real, um, understanding and appreciation for, like, how intricate they are. That is a lot of ammo. Don't mind me. An antique coin from the uh, Baker's Mansion. Uh, attack foregrip. That is an upgrade for the shotgun. That does something. Increased fire rate. Cool. And gun ammo. DNA sequencing complete. 99.95% match. Dolby mutamycete. The deviation of 0.05% can presumably be attributed to artificial changes by humans, which means this is probably the source. Further investigation into how the connections managed to find and extract the mold is needed. The fungal colony is spread out and spread out in, under the entire village. When you take the Baker incident into account, the hosts of the meat of my seat are part of a network of consciousnesses. If that network if that network is linked to here, then we could assume this organism here is data storage. If that's the case, then what data is Miranda after? Ooh. Uh, let's see. It's been it's been one that you found your eye on for playing, just like Evil Within, and Evil Within Two, but the backlog is quite large. <laughs> yeah, and there's not really necessarily a rush. Those those games aren't really going anywhere. Um, I think. Those games all run at 60 now on the new consoles. I could be wrong. I believe Evil Within 2 runs at 60 at least on the uh, Series X, if you have access to that. I uh, plan on replaying Hellblade again after the Ghost of Sushi. <laughs> um, gotta prepare for the hopeful E3 trailer. Um, I really need to play Hellblade, actually. I have somehow neglected to do that. Um... I think that's going to be one of the first games I try to play on my Series X. Because I tried buying it a couple times on PC, and that PC port isn't great. It's got a lot of it weird issues. Um, so yeah, kind of gave up on it specifically because of that. But here's to hoping it's up my alley, because I love narrative games. I love uh, what people kind of like... Um... I don't want to even say like ironic, maybe like unironically call like walking simulators. I love those types of games. I know it kind of started as like a as a uh, term of derision. Be like, oh look at these games, you're not shooting or fighting and stuff. But whatever. I'm making you nervous for your PC copy. Um, 
I'm sorry. <laughs> For what it's worth, I have tried playing it on two separate PC builds, my older one and then my current one. And um, I did not personally have a great time with it. Um, did you did you buy it on like on like Steam or did you uh, install it through like Game Pass for PC? I I tried both versions for what it's worth. Forget how do we get to this one? Riverbank Treasure House. Steam, but like months. Ago. Oh yeah, that that's gonna be past like the point of um, refunds and whatnot. Let's see if we can get back to the castle because of your hoarding ways. I whenever I see like a good Steam sale and admittedly I haven't done this for a while because I mostly own everything I care about on Steam. Um, hey, that's a goat. How do you survive a headshot? Where are you? Go. Stop it. Meat. There we go. Um, okay, I want to kill that, that pack thing over there, but first, I want to see if this drawbridge is still down. Yeah, there, there'd be a, whenever I would, I would buy a bunch of stuff all at once on Steam, I always had to make it a point to, like, do my, um, what's the term? Due diligence to, like, at least open up each game and test them out real quick, at least... At least like less than two hours because that's what the refund policy is like on Steam. And um, just to make sure they work because if I didn't, if I waited past two weeks because I bought too many games, I would just be shit out of luck. Um, Black Phillip. <laughs> okay, this thing is somewhere in here, right? Oh, there it is. Shit. This is not going to be pretty. Can I hide in here? Take some pot shots, maybe? I think that's going to be my plan, hiding in here, right? <coughs> Fuck, where did it go? Where? This is scary. I don't want to go in there. Fuck that. No. Damn it, I have to. At least there's these flower bags I can... Oh, shit. Here, let's, let's move this stuff. We don't need all this stuff right over here. Let's move this over closer. Shit, this is gonna go so horribly wrong. Why not set oh you know what? You are you are right. I have a lot of mines. <laughs> That'd be a great idea. Um because I know when I was playing uh the mercenaries mode, um for, for some of those bigger armor dudes, like the only real strategy I had was to blow up their armor with the mine and then use like regular firepower, so I guess I've been horny because of that. Guess I don't really need to. Um, Ghost of Tsushima almost made you cry midstream the other day. I was gonna pull your pull up your B right back screen. I don't blame you. That game got to me at multiple points. Um, here we go. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Candy, I love you and your advice. All right, let's. Uh, Get this going now. Come on, blow it up. Oh, it's circumvented all of that. Shh. Oh, that's not good. Go, go, go. There we go. It blew up. Still alive? There we go. Damn. Well, that's got to be worth a lot at least. I don't think it blew up both of those mines, though. Did it? Nice save with the mines. 
can he? Holy crap, you are a lifesaver. <laughs> still a... Oh, there's still a goat around there. Should go buy that um, ammo upgrade. For some reason, the game broke your hoarding nature. There we go. Right there's the goats. Um, let's go buy that ammo upgrade. That way we can get more free uh, magnum bullets. I really need to go back and play Ghost of Tsushima. That probably runs so freaking beautifully at uh, yes, 60. Yes. In terms of uh, ammo and consumables, I feel like me playing so conservatively in most survival horror games and stuff like this is like really helped me in terms of like having stuff later on. But then I'll get to the end of the game. I have like 500 million like freaking magnum bullets. I have like rocket launchers and everything. I, I got to be less conservative with it for sure. Uh, let's see. Damage taken while guarding decreases permanently. Health greatly increases permanently. Let's do that because I, I am wait. pretty bad at remembering a block. Finished. I'd love you had a second to RPG well. for the last boss in Resident Evil 4 in, my, in your first playthrough. To think um, such a dish could be had in this winterbound frontier. I'm going to admit it, when I first played Resident Evil 4, uh, when I was a kid, I was I was very scared. I didn't want to deal with bosses and everything, so I would like buy rocket launchers to uh, to circumnavigate that a little bit. Uh, but, but nowadays, whenever I play it, there we go. So now all we need is the some Marle de, de Peste. Uh, we're missing some fish. Um, yeah, but yeah, nowadays whenever I play it, when you get that free rocket launcher in both 4 and 5, um, I just kind of turn around and, and sell it for profit. Like, I just don't use them whatsoever. And admittedly, they don't even give you, like, that much That's money true. in the grand scheme of things. Probably be better off just using them. But I'm stubborn. Food, is life. Food it, I mean, it can be life, yeah. That's... not gonna argue with that, Duke. Wait, shit, there isn't an ammo upgrade. Um, but there is that. I don't necessarily need it right now. This is all an investment. Even. Let's buy some ammo. <laughs> so why the hell not? Have a wonderful adventure. I didn't buy ammo a single time on my first playthrough, and uh, considering how cheap it is and how much money I have. I really should have. That's okay. That's what repeats are for. You never played it on PS4. You could say it looks stunning on PS5. Nice. Yeah, I played it on Pro uh, when it first came out. Looks good then. But imagine it looks even better. Am I missing anything around here? I think so. Nothing substantial, at least. Yeah, we should be good. I I could be totally wrong. Is there a way to circle back to over here or something? I feel like there is. I'm just missing. Yeah, because you're supposed to come back here. Did I not go forward on this thing? Did I only go backward? Shit, I did miss that. I did not go forward. <laughs> Shit. Okay, let's go back. Uh, Bloodborne was literally the only game you played on PS4. PS5 is the first one you've owned. I always love seeing people getting uh, onboarded onto new pieces of hardware that they weren't necessarily familiar with. Um, not even familiar, just like they didn't have previously. Because it just opens the door for like so many experiences in terms of like exclusives and whatnot. You're gonna bounce. Uh, have a good one, y'all. Thanks for hanging out, Kenny. Always appreciate you.
despite uh, my my awful food opinions with the with the chicken thighs and whatnot. <laughs> Get in this boat and not miss the thing I was supposed to do. I somehow neglected to do so. But, uh, yeah, because we missed this entire section over here. There we go. It's a good thing I checked before we went, because I believe once you start going to Heisenberg's uh, whole setup and whatnot, that's basically the point of no return. I open that. So you really missed out on some exclusives, but you're catching up. You just bought Horizon today. Nice. And, um, especially since, um, if, if you have PS Plus, there's a whole PlayStation Plus collection for, like, a bunch of exclusives and whatnot that you can just get for regular subscription. I think you're honestly, like, in such a great place, too, because, like, even if those games aren't on the PS Plus collection, you can get them for, like, basically dirt cheap nowadays. And you can just, like, go from, like, great game to great game to great game. You're in a... Beautiful, beautiful position for that. Oh, that is a lot of money. Hey, buddy. I need you to follow me so you can catch on fire. Come on. <laughs> no, you're going the wrong way. Come on, let's go. need you to put this on fire. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Now you can die. Golden lady statue. A tall lady statue, some might say, but it's not the tall lady. Are there any other um, PlayStation exclusive games that are like necessarily at the... Uh, Top of your priority list. There's the Uncharted series. There's uh, Last of Us, Horizon, God of War. Um, I'm trying to even remember what else is on there. I draw, you know, for someone who's played like basically every single PlayStation exclusive, I tend to draw a blank on all the stuff that's available. Um, I, I would really have to pull up a list. My memory is so bad with these kinds of things. I can literally open up my trophy list right here. Let, let, let's do that. For games. Exclusives. Um, I guess Yakuza used to be an exclusive. No, it wasn't first party. Um, t -t -t -t. Man, this stuff is not organized well. There's Spider-Man. Uh, Astros. Da -da -da -da. Ghost of Tsushima. You already got that. Persona. I oh, if you're going to play Persona, play the Royal version. Not the base version, that's... The, the base version is on uh, the PlayStation Plus collection, but Royal is infinitely better in every single way. Shadow of the Colossus, Gravity Rush, Medieval, Death Stranding, Days Gone, Uncharted. Um, there's a lot of stuff. We could go through there for a while. Bring this down. Ethan's feeling a little cranky right now, I suppose. There we go. And so now we're back to this area from earlier in the game. Uh, but now we have the well wheel, the, the wheel of the well. I have uh, wheeled it into, ex into existence. There we go. And it brings up a ladder of all things. Okay, that's fine. Slide, Ethan, slide. There are faster methods. Not exactly what I would describe as risk-adverse, so... 
You might as well slide, buddy. Leon doesn't care. He doesn't even slide. He just yeets himself off the edge. Alright, so we need to get in here. We can't at the moment. Let's see, that is a pipe bomb. Oh, let's raise this. Anything around here? Nope. Bush. I oh, you got to push it more, dude. Can't give up right then and there. All the way. Eat. And then we gotta raise... No, we don't raise that. We just climb on top of it. There we go. Explosive rounds. Drop down. Large Pigeon Blood Ruby. So now we can complete that, uh, that necklace we have, I suppose. Still incredibly paranoid that that's gonna come crashing down on us. Very paranoid of that. Um, let's combine those. There we go. Now we can sell that also. Oh, lockpick. Let's see. I guess you got to bounce too because your phone is not working to load anyone's streams. Well, hey, thanks for hanging out, man. Um, I shall see you next time. Thanks, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you. Let's jump over here. Might as well save. I am just raking in the freaking money and treasures right now. Hell yeah. Got so much money. This is awesome. <laughs> Such a change of pace from the usual. Alright, Ethan. Let's go. Gotta go fight uh, Heisenberg from fucking Breaking Bad. Except he's Magneto and he's not old. No, no Brian Cranston Heisenberg over here. I really wish I knew the origin of that name, like whatever mythology or whatever, or it's just like some kind of weird cultural name or something. And we still don't need to buy anything from the Duke, so we can just pass him on by. Rose is waiting for you. Thanks, dude. These signs are very convenient. So, so I get you know, he's like basically Magneto, and he can like make this like super easily um he took a lot of time to paint on him i guess just has yellow paint hanging around good luck thanks fam oh yeah there's this whole little optional area over here it's fine is there anything over here? That is an explosive barrel. Um, I seem to have forgotten that these existed the first time I played. Because I did not use them <laughs> at all. I kept everything uh, within the building. Eat. Got an herb. Oh, piggy. Come here, piggy. Damn, this pig fucking going for it. Circle around. Oh, fucking damn it. 
Big doesn't fuck around. There we go. Sorry, piggy. Had to be done. Some money. And I just sworn there was something else right here, wasn't there? I oh, guess that was it. Crystal fragments. Okay. That is a big boy right there. Our magnum going. See if I can aim for the head a little bit. Oh. <laughs> he did not like that. That's okay though. Doesn't matter what he likes. Come on, I don't want to miss this shot. There we go. Alright, so let's make this little avenue of hell. Oh shit, he's coming. Eat. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm over here, dude. Oh shit. Okay, that is all the barrels I got at the moment, dude. Oh shit. Where's this dude at? Ah, uh, there we go. That was relatively easy, all things considered. Sniper rifle ammo. And get ammo. Anything else up here? Or did I get it all? Got his three separate chains on there. Meat, meat, poultry, herb, fish, metal scrap. July 8th. Today's the day the jolly merchant stops by. He always gives me old newspapers. I know Miranda forbids them, but news of the outside world is always so fascinating. There was one thing that piqued my interest in the last one. It was an article about some medicine company. I don't remember the name, but their emblem looked familiar. It was the same symbol as the giant's chalice. I'm pretty sure I saw the same one painted on the walls in the cave too. That radiating umbrella image really stands out. What's some outsider company emblem doing here? I wonder if it had anything to do with that man that stayed here all those years ago. Nah, I'm overthinking it. Uh, plot revelation. It's quite the opposite. <laughs> I was kind of hoping it was a new development, but no, it's, it's all in the past. But it's in here. Father Nicholas's statue. Is now unlocked. Uh, apparently, missed something in there. That's whatever. Okay, now is when we're gonna use these explosive barrels. Come here. Chop, chop. Get in line. There's one. Oh shit, you're still alive? I am calling major bull shot. Oh, I got a trophy for that. Nice. I wasn't even really going for that, but I'll take it. Hell yeah. 
The size of that magazine was so freaking ridiculously long. Holy shit. Hello, dead bodies and stuff. Oh! Shit, was that one alive? Oh no, there's something like on the side. Where the fuck is it? I hear stuff, I don't see stuff. That is a lot of dead things around you. Okay, I know there's a trophy for hitting an arrow out of the air. I would like to try that. Come on, buddy. Come on, nope, nope, nope. Come on, don't bite me. Don't bite me. That was pretty lame of you. Ah, uh, my health is bad. Come on. I'm fluid. Are there any supplies? Rusted scrap. Just perching up there? It's okay. Perch. You can, you can perch headless. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, damn it! Damn. Oh, they're surrounding me. That's not good. Come on, go, go, go. We are. We're running. We're running. Get out of my face, dude. There we go. Alright, where is that arrow, dude? I saw someone... Oh! Come on. Aim at me. Come on, let's do this. Okay, gotta time it better. Got it, nice. I would not advise that in real life. That is a horrible strategy. Oh shit. Anyone else around here? Anyone else around here? If I remember correctly, I'm about to get swarmed. That's gonna be great. Uh, oh, yep, right on cue. And uh, shit, there's a lot of snipers or arrow dudes. This is the rifles' time to shine. Anyone else? Oh, shit. On. Shit, fucking dead bodies taking all the bullets. Get away from me. Reload. I don't. Why are we telling me to reload if I don't have any ammo? What the fuck? Anyone else? Shotgun ammo, handgun ammo, hell yeah. Sniper ammo. That is lever, pulley, whatever you want to call it, number one. Oh shit. Eat. <laughs> I know we're screaming for you, dude. Oh shit. This is not good. Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, sh- god damn it. I can probably take one more good hit, and then- Oop! Dip! Dip, 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 dip. Oh, 
Come on. Shit. Damn it. I got it. Heal. I don't have any heal. So shit. Shit, shit, shit. There we go. Come on. Right away, Ethan. Oh shit. It actually worked. It's firing like crazy. Stop screaming! I need to hurry up and get this freaking thing going, I guess. Holy shit. Freaking dodging my bullets and shit. Oh, you're alive? I thought I killed you. Damn it. Nope. Why am I so bad at this right now? Okay, come on. Come on, Ethan. Ethan, go. I am not doing great right now. I am doing fucking horrible. Come on, jump up. Are you good? Stay down, please. Holy shit. Damn. That was, uh, that was a bit much. Missed, uh, like what, three, four shotgun shots? Just, like, clean missed them. Should have been easy headshot opportunities for me that I just kind of fumbled. It's okay. It's not okay, but I'm going to tell myself it's okay. Any day now. Just jump over it, Ethan. Uh, that treasure box we're technically going to get later. Can't do much about it at the moment. Stronghold. I remember correctly, we basically got to just run on through here because everything's just going to keep spawning infinitely. And get ammo. Scrap. Anything else around here? Any glow? Oh! Glowy. Saving data. Alright. We this gotta run. Yep. Yeah, that, is, that is correct assessment, Ethan. All right, we gotta go. We got zero time. Go. All right, I gotta heal. These guys do not stop coming. Okay, big guy. Shit. Forgot about that. Fuck. Um think, 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 think. Grenade launcher. Yes. Great choice. Fucking damn it. Come on. Damn it. Come on. There we go. Oh, they actually stopped coming once you got up here, I guess. That is convenient for me.
I have not crafted ammo in a quick freaking minute. Some Lee, Lay, I should say, I believe is the correct pronunciation. Oh man, I have such claustrophobia, I would not do this. I would just give up on my adventure right the fuck now. Oh, uh, that's, that's horrifying. Oh. I'm really surprised they haven't done anything VR for this game. There's a big push for 7. Granted, uh, Sony kind of pushed for that, I guess. At least the exclusivity. I don't know if they, like, did the funding for, like, the entire thing. Uh, the King's orders finally arrived. Withdraw. It is most vexing that we must abandon the border stronghold to these heretics. If I had but a little more time, I know I might be able to turn the tides of this battle. Nay, I should I should not put on airs. It is my curiosity that ties me to this place. There are a number of ruins in the vicinity which the locals say are very ancient. The ceremony site with four giant statues. The caves with murals carved on the walls. The stone plinth they call the giant's chalice. Where did the people who built them come from? Where did they go? It irks me that we must abandon this place without knowing. I am sorry it irked you, dude. No one should be irked. That's a negative thing to have happen to, to oneself. I am irked that you're irked on your on your behalf. Um, I don't have shit for ammo. That's gonna be an issue. I got two bullets of this. <laughs> Better than nothing. What's what's this dude's name? Urius, the big dude, the big boy. Hey, buddy. Go get stuff I can. Oh shit. I don't think I missed that, but it feels like I did. Just not even go for headshots. We just need to shoot this dude. Shit. We got this. Damn, dude. You fucking hit like a goddamn truck. Go, go, go. Shit. Damn, dude. Damn, boy. You're not gonna smash this pillar, are you? It's a pillar of our community. <laughs> Shit. Come on. Oh shit, I'm not looking out for that. Shit, go, go, go. My, oh, I don't have any ammo, shit. Oh fuck, I have a grenade launcher, what am I doing? Eat! You still alive, dude? Come on. Come on, let's do one more. There we go. Up yours. <laughs> Nice. I'll I'll take it. Crystal Holy hammer. Shit. Hell yeah. 
Definitely need ammo now. Oh, actually had four shotgun shells. I didn't know that. I'm going to wait till we get to Duke, though. We can buy some upgrades. Oh, that's all I can see from right here, at least. Yellow quartz. That one's new, I guess. Oh, got all of them with right there. Can't get ammo. And get ammo. Orso flask. Why are you taking my baby? What? You're the real deal, Ethan. Well done. Quit hiding, asshole. I'm not letting you get out of this. <laughs> cool your jets. Just a little bit more, and you're all wrapped up. I'll lend you a hand. So in exchange. In exchange what? First of all, come to me. Put all the flasks in the altar, and I'm sure you'll figure the rest out. See you, Ethan. I'm still kind of thrown off by his voice with his general appearance. I thought it'd be more gruff and maybe not gravelly, but like on the lower end, more bassy. It throws me off when he's, uh, I like his voice for what it's with. I just don't think it necessarily matches his, the way he looks. Got a plate. It always threw me off, like, one of the biggest valuables you could sell in the Yakuza series is you get plates by, um, like, by defeating enemies. That everyone's just carrying, like, rare china or, or something or some shit. Now that I think about it, though, uh, Yakuza is like a dragon. You do not get plates as, as treasure to sell, which is weird because the entire rest of that series sure as hell does. Maybe, maybe plates are just held in a high cultural esteem. In, in Japan, I, 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 I doubt that's true because I think Persona kind of goes into that same kind of appeal that Yakuza does, where those games are so centrally Japanese, where that is the appeal of it. But Yakuza maybe goes into it a little bit more. I, you know what? I think I realize I maybe have contradictory thoughts on playing Yakuza exclusively in subs. Uh, at least like a dragon. Granted, there's a whole rest of the series where I'm used to playing that series in subs. But I have not played a Persona game in Japanese. I, I like the English voiceover. I think they do a good job. Not to say that the Yakuza like a dragon uh, English cast doesn't do a good job. Um, I already got that fish, by the way. Um, yeah. Gotta do uh, implantation notes. Uh, results, low affinity, occupation, extra healness, death. Very high affinity, no loss of cognition, arbitrarily able to control body transformation, applied cognition control procedure. Oh, that's for Alcina. Burn it dead. That's, uh, Lady D. Uh, Lady Dimitrescu. Glad that's how it's pronounced, not how I thought it was. Dim Dimitrescu, because it never sounded right saying it. Oh, there are dudes now. Eat skull. <laughs> I love that you can just freaking punch and push them away. Shit. Yeet. You can block a lot of damage by uh, blocking. <laughs> I guess that's why I use the word mitigate a lot, because I don't like saying the same word multiple times in the same sentence. Unless, obviously, it's like a conjunction or whatever, like the, of, like, it's it's unavoidable in our language. Go up here. It 
Let's see, are there any like kind of obvious trophies I am missing in here? Let's let's check this out. Let's see, not earned. Finish the story. Open the door to every outhouse. I did that on my first playthrough. Um, PC. Let's see. Use photo mode. I have not used photo mode. Okay, let's let's arbitrarily use photo mode. Okay, how do I take the picture? Oh, it's photographer! I got the trophy! Cool. Um, not really gonna dive too much in that, to be honest. Um, let's go back to the not earned. Let's see, the lucky number seven, that's a weird one to get. Let's complete the village map. Complete the village map. I think that's just automatic. Uh, destroy all the goats. I need to look up a guide for that. Equip every gun with their customizable parts. I'll eventually get that. Create every type of item in the crafting menu. Uh, I will get around to that. Collect every crafting recipe. Read every single file. Finish stories within three hours. That's a speed run. Finish a story without spending more than 10,000 Lee. That's going to be like a super end game freaking thing I do. Combo of at least 30 during the mercenaries. Achieve at least an S rank on all stages. That's gonna be hard. That's gonna be very hard, actually. Your old character and weapon models, all concept art. I don't know if I'm necessarily gonna platinum this. So I platinumed, um, well, platinumed. I got all the ach the achievements on the Xbox versions for Resident Evil's uh, two and three remakes. Um, yeah. I kind of wish there was an equivalent of a Platinum, because it's like when they released that free DLC or, or whatever for a Resident Evil 2 remake, um, those achievements just got added onto the existing ones um, for, for the Xbox achievements. So I went from having 100% of the achievements to having like 97. I'm like, no, I don't like that. Um, yeah, I, I did not like that at all. It shows like thousand out of a, out of whatever because it's not a thousand out of a thousand anymore. I'm still short of one fishy. Leaving I need so one fishy. Soon. Where the fuck else am I going to get a fishy at? Um, incomplete chalice. Let's let's get this going, I guess. Torso flask. Because no body can do this. I remember that. What was that? That was a memory, Ethan. Um, I am now disarmed of that flask. <laughs> um, legs. Need to get a leg up on the competition. No, no weird memory. Okay. Um, need to get ahead of the game with this flask. Giant's Chalice. What? Because that makes a lot of sense somehow. Oh, you know what? I didn't even upgrade anything from Duke. Wish what the fuck? Purchase? Um, yes. He has new supplies of some sort. Um, doesn't look like it, to be honest. Recipe flashbangs. I might as well buy that. I think that's part of the trophy thing, right? Um, gunsmithy ammo capacity. This simple modification can be done in just a moment. Do I have pistol ammo? I believe so. Rate of fire upgrade One for moment, sure. Please. One moment, please. All right, I think this we're is good. All an investment. Till next we meet. 
All right, I think that's a decent enough point on jumping off points. It's almost seven o'clock. That's a two hour stream. Um, thanks for hanging out, everyone. Uh, my name's Jose slash Seth Okage. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, whatever. There's daily content on basically everything. Uh, the next stream is set for tomorrow night at 5 p.m. PST. I might start a little bit early, might go on a little bit later, just depending on the vibes and whatnot. Um, oh, hey, Corey. Ah, yes, your 50th playthrough, I see. Technically, my second playthrough, actually. I've not been marathoning this for whatever reason. Um, <laughs> coming to the last second. Oh, well, hey, you, you and me can chat, like, literally as soon as I finish this, my man. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow, 5 p.m. PST. We'll be playing more Resident Evil. Bye-bye.